You know, I got a lot of uh, fun things to share with you. Some flashing items I wanted to show you. Some exciting developments in ramen noodlery. And something arrived in the P.O. box. And I don't know if I ordered it or if one of you all sent it to me. And I was going to open it in front of you. But I don't, I don't really want to do any of that today. Last night, after I got home and put the groceries away, dealt with the board, and got back on Twitter to catch up, uh, I found out that Tim Allen, not the actor Tim Allen, Tim Allen, the sports blogger for SB Nation's Timberwolf site, canishoopus.com, C-A-N-I-S-H-O-O-P-U-S.com, a place I frequently visited during the regular season and in the off season. Tim Allen uh, killed himself Monday, Monday night, and I mean, just one of those things where it's a shock to everybody who you don't want to say knew him, but if you spend any amount of time on the internet you do get to, in a sense, you get to know certain people. And you become acquainted with them through their work and through their interactions with you and with other people you know or with other complete strangers that you form a community with. And a lot of Timberwolves fans, a lot of very smart, very intelligent, interesting, fun people hang out at Canisupas as is the case probably in any community, but we were all bound together by our love of that basketball team we all like to watch. And he was one of the main uh, content producer, editor, whatever they're called, running that particular blog and that particular community. And what was just so eerie about it was there was really no indication. See him leaving comments uh, in threads on Canis Hoopus. You could read his Twitter feed. You could read some of the work that he put out. Right up until Monday, right up until hours before it happened. And there's just no clue what was going on in his head and whatever happens to cause you to decide at that moment it's not worth going on. I like to think I'm a smart guy, but I can't fathom making that decision. And you hate talking about yourself in this situation, but, but after I got over the shock, I was angry because I couldn't figure out why someone would make that decision. Not only because, you know, the Timberwolves are going to be good this year, and that's something you probably want to be around for, but just for seeing the reactions of other folks, of people that you also know, how devastated they are by it, and how all this grief was caused by this act. And it's just... So frustrating. And then a lot of people were like, well, should I have said something at a certain time? Something. It doesn't look like it would have made any difference. And that's the other thing is that people always do that tweeting about, well, if you're depressed, you should talk to somebody or you should call somebody or you should visit the mental health people. People always tweet that after it happens. It hasn't stopped happening. Just a major bummer. So, it's weird. I knew who Tim Allen was. I'm sure he did not know me. I was just one of many readers. So, obviously, I wouldn't have had any effect. So, there's nothing I could have done. But it doesn't make you feel any less helpless. I just wish I didn't feel so angry about it. I guess I prefer feeling angry to feeling nothing, but I don't know. 
So I share my sadness with you. It's it's just such a bummer. But you can go to chaosupus.com and you can see tribute threads to Tim. You can read Tim's earlier work too. His last piece uh, was uh, on the first. It was about Brandon Roy, and it was about going from being a retired NBA player, retired, to seeking a path of redemption via the Timberwolves. And again, when you have that other lens to look through, you just, it's just one of those my gosh moments. And you know I only swear for shock value, it just it makes no fucking sense. I think that's all I got. Uh, we'll be back to the Yucks tomorrow. It's 6.25 p.m., 70 degrees outside. It's raining just enough to keep me from mowing the lawn. Just too bad, because that's a really good way to preoccupy yourself without thinking about stuff like this. I'm sure I'll be better tomorrow. So, I hope you're humping. I hope you're not suicidal. If you are one of those depressed people, and you got to be pretty depressed to be following me, uh, don't get to that point. If you can't call somebody, just make an anonymous comment somewhere. Or seek out an anonymous person and do a double blind deal. Just find a cat. I don't know. Nobody should do that. It shouldn't have to be that way. Especially when you are admired by so many people. And although you can't see it, there's still so much to live for. The very least, a winning Timberwolf season. See you tomorrow.